Marlon Riggs was a cinematographer that constructed visual representations of what it means to be black and queer by creating a voice for black gay men through film. The observational documentary Tongues Untied, released in 1989, employs an original and fresh approach to filmmaking styles. Through its dramatic in-your-face inquiry of a rather taboo and unfamiliar subject matter. By con constituting a face to oral narratives of black men with HIV during the 80s, Riggs situates this film within a larger social and political context that provokes a subversive conversation that ultimately disturbs cinematic norms and spark national debate around what is considered appropriate imagery under constraints of federal funding. Through monologues. I think if it was tired, we could always hit Bellas by midnight. Ten black men show up and they get paranoid the place is gonna tilt. Poetry. His eyes howl at me. Coyote. Songs. <laughs> and voguing. Tongues Untied becomes a seminal piece to queer cinema, as Riggs introduces a new mode of nuanced storytelling that is organic, alluring, and straightforward. You've reached black. Riggs's influence on defining you black queer aesthetics works through experimentation, with cross-cutting scenes, symbolism, tempo play, transitions, and exposition that captivates the audience into a new world that has never been explored on camera. Tongues Untied would canonize and inspire future productions of queer films such as Paris is Burning, Brother to Brother, and Pose through its execution of representing black gay communities nationwide. Riggs also encourages participatory elements in the film as he introduces the cultivation of snapping, one of the many signifiers of black gay culture that would catalyze larger influence on popular spheres of media. Like Riggs puts emphasis on the intimacy of human interaction and representations of everyday life through camera placement that politicizes the experiences without intrusion of close-up or didactic analysis from the outside. This stylistic element is paired with an omnipresent voice of narration that engages audiences with the notion of viewership that encourages radical self-love. Now that I have shed shades of nigger, boy, for pigments of faggot, queer, gender, blender, blur. Now that I am... Ultimately, these elements challenge hegemonic notions of cis-heteropatriarchy and white supremacy by incorporating biopic scenes from his life. Riggs prompts the importance of confronting the constraints of black masculinity and heteronormativity that emerge from politics of silence. Silence is my shield. It crushes. Silence is my cloak. It smothers. He births a new space for black sexuality, expression, and creativity through images of black men loving other black men. This phenomenon becomes a concept that Bell Hooks theorizes in Loving Blackness as Political Resistance as Psychological Patriarchy, which operates as a gender institution that perpetuates itself under the performance of toxic masculinity as a product of white supremacy. Through constituting representations of his life, friends, and family in Tongues Untied, Marlon Riggs reconstructs fixed notions of the black gay image and becomes monumental to the foundation and influence of contemporary visual representations of black queerness through cinema. Ironic that dance, my ticket to assimilation, my way of amusing, then winning acceptance by why how many of us have followed that the same path. steps were now my passage back home. 